Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my product recommendations that you can pick up from the Nykaa Hot Pink Sale. A lot of you were reaching out to me over DMs asking me to do another such video. So here it is. I took a poll on both my community section on YouTube and also on Instagram. And majority of you said that you wanted to see this video once more. So here I am with close to 50 product options uh, that are body care, skin care, hair care and also a lot of makeup product recommendations from my side that you can pick up from this sale this video is not sponsored by nika in any way it's just a recommendations video because a lot of you asked for this so sit tight grab a cup of tea or coffee we are going to dive right into this video but before you do that please make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've also hit the notification bell do also follow me on my instagram account and now without further ado let's dive right into it First, let's dive in and see the makeup recommendations that I have for you here. And I do have some different recommendations this time around because I've been playing around with a lot of different makeup lately. So MAC grabbed my attention on Nykaa's app because they've been running a few offers. Few of my favorite products that are on offer. Firstly, you get their lipstick, uh, which is the Retro Matte Lipstick, which is Ruby Woo in combination with another uh, nude lipstick, which I feel is a great offer because if you buy them separately they cost you a lot more uh, one of my favorite blushes from mac is uh, this one right here this is mocha this is the one that i'm wearing it's a beautiful soft blush this is going to work on so many different skin tones especially if you're a deeper skin tone than me you are going to love this blush uh, then another favorite and a cult product from mac is their strobe cream my favorite is the peach light and the pink light um, this is something that I prefer picking a lot many times on Nykaa sale because it comes with some sort of an offer. Then moving on, I do have uh, some different kind of products for you. First, let's dive in and see the lipstick recommendations that I have for you guys because I have so many lipsticks like I always keep saying and I do have a few lipsticks that are on offer that I'm going to be sharing with you. Uh, my current favorite lipstick that I've been loving a lot is the Bellora Paris. Uh, I have worn these, uh, this one in particular in a couple of my videos recently, a lot of you ask. This shade is uh, number 16, Tea Time. It's a beautiful shade. You have a red also, which I think is Coral Crush. You will, however, find all the details of all the links uh, in the description box, so you can go through that. The other lipsticks that I do want to recommend to you are the Sugar Cosmetics Matte Attack. Now, I have these in two shades. Uh, the first one that I have here is Grand Berries. Let me swatch this for you. It's a beautiful berry shade and it uh, shows up really, really beautifully. I love these kind of shades in the monsoon season and they uh, show up really well on Indian skin. Uh, the other lipstick shade that I have in the same uh, lipstick, which is the Matte Attack, is uh, the Peach Mode number 10. This also is a beautiful peach. If you're my skin tone, you are going to love this on your skin. It's absolutely gorgeous. Now moving on to some other lipstick recommendations uh, that I have for you are from Lime Prime. Now Lime Prime is also on some sort of an off. This, uh, these lipsticks in particular are my most favorite. These are actually the most favorite product I have from Lime Prime. I have two shades here. First one is Paulette. The other one is Rustic. Let me quickly swatch these for you here. They are beautiful shades and they sit so well on the lips. They are deeply pigmented. This uh, shade is uh, Paulette. It's a beautiful nude color. So um, I think there are very specific nudes when it comes to Indian skin. You know, there are some nudes that suit all different skin tones. And this is that shade, which is going to work on so many different Indian skins. And I absolutely love this. I even love the way these lipsticks actually sit on the lips. They don't dry out the lips at all. I'm also going to swatch Rustic for you. It's a beautiful rust shade. Of course, they are all matte lipsticks. I'm a matte lipstick lover. I love beautiful beautiful non-drying formulas when it comes to matte lipsticks uh, the other lipsticks that i want to recommend i have recommended these before but once more uh, this time around as well because they are worth every single penny and especially when they are on discount i love to pick up some of these i'm talking about the k beauty lip crayons they are just beautiful they glide on uh, your lips and they don't dry especially for me i feel and i do have a little bit of chapped lips few of my favorite colors that I definitely want to recommend to you guys. The first one that I'm wearing is V Hours. This is something that I bought in the last sale or last to last sale. And this is a gorgeous, gorgeous nude. If you are someone who likes a peachy, orangey sort of a nude, you're my skin tone or uh, you're lighter, you are going to love this. Even if you are a little bit deeper, which is NC40, you are likely to appreciate this color. 
one nude color that I feel is going to work on so many different skin tones is the shade Gossip. You've seen me wear this in so many of my videos. It's a gorgeous brown nude color, this one right here. It really sits well on the lips. Uh, the formula itself, uh, I particularly love these. And the last one that I want to recommend from this range is Just Friends. Now, this is a, a bit of a different sort of a nude than the other ones. This has a bit of peach tone to it, if you see. Gossip is a lot more brown and this one right here, which is We Hours, is a lot more orangey. So you can take your pick as to the kind of lipsticks that you like. One last recommendation from me when it comes to lipsticks and I can just go on and on when it comes to lipsticks, uh, like you can see. But the last recommendation that I would definitely give you that you can pick up from this sale is from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It's their liquid matte lipstick. This is the shade Marvelous. It is this one right here. It's a gorgeous, beautiful peach. If you are someone like me who's into peachy, earthy tones, then you are likely to love this product. Another thing that I want to recommend from e.l.f. and this actually uh, came to me as a surprise because uh, whenever there is something that's super, super hyped, you know, I try and take that product with a little bit of caution because um, I really am not sure. So I want to take my time and try this out. I'm talking about the e.l.f. Poreless Primer. This is a very popular product, especially with international beauty bloggers. And I tried it on myself. I truly loved it. It is such a soft, it's such a smooth formula. And I am running out of space on my hand, but I am going to show this to you. It is a beautiful primer, especially if you're someone who has enlarged pores. Um, and I would say this is the kind of product that you can go in for. It just smoothens up the skin beautifully and it just lets your makeup sit on top really beautifully as well. Let me just swatch this, swirl my finger around and show you the formula. It's really, really creamy. It looks white on your hand, but when you actually blend it out, let me actually blend it out on my arm. It won't show at all. Like you can see here, it won't show at all, but it really helps the makeup sit in place. Then moving on, I have a foundation recommendation for you and this is the K-Beauty uh, foundation and the shade that I'm in is 120Y Light. Now I have to mix my foundations to get my right shade because I'm a neutral on tone. Uh, honestly, I did not expect a lot from this foundation but this really uh, surprised me and the way this sits on the skin. I would like to tell that this is not a full coverage foundation. It definitely is buildable but if you are someone like me who likes uh, a sheer coverage foundation, you like something that's dewy and that uh, lets your natural complexion and skin show through this is the kind of foundation you would absolutely love i've been wearing this so much lately so i mix this with another shade which i don't have right here with me but uh, i like to mix both of those shades 120 y is also a fairly good match for me but i like to uh, give myself a little bit of a bronzed look if you know what i mean especially in the monsoon season i think this is a beautiful foundation let me take a little bit and show you the texture it's very very lightweight and uh, it sits well on the skin but you are if you are oily skin you definitely have to set this foundation because this can probably move now i would say that this is medium coverage but definitely buildable i like to take a little bit and then just blend it out um, like you can see on my hand it's really really dewy and uh, gives that beautifully uh, sort of a tinted foundation kind of a look to the skin so if you're looking for a good foundation and something that you can pick up on discount i highly recommend this a uh, couple of other products that i have for you here one i want to uh, recommend a concealer this is from wet and wild this is the light medium beige i use this to highlight my under eye area and a little bit goes a long way beautiful concealer blends in really well if you're looking for a good affordable good coverage concealer this is the one you can definitely pick up uh, then i have a lip and cheek tint this is from the brand earth rhythm I have tried two of their lip and cheek tints. I loved both. This is Brandy and the other shade I've tried is Mermaid, which is a pink and I love both of these. And uh, let me swatch some for you so that you know the kind of color this is. It's a beautiful dark deep red sort of a color. It uh, blends out really well. It works really beautifully as a cheek and a lip tint. The other product that I want to recommend to you is a nail paint. This is the Sally Hansen nail paint. These nail paints are really cool if you're looking for some uh, nice, good quality nail paints that you can pick up on discount with some nice, beautiful shades. This one is not matte, but uh, if you're looking for good uh, nail enamels, then uh, this is the brand that I can definitely recommend. 
then moving on I have two of my favorite loose powders that are sober on discount and I had to tell this to you because uh, both of these are worth the money the first one is the Huda Beauty uh, loose powder this is the translucent loose powder in the shade sugar cookie now this I think is on 40% discount and honestly if it is I think it's a steal it sets your under eye so beautifully under eye concealer uh, even if you're someone who sweats a lot on your t-zone I like to go in with this so much I love this completely if you are someone who likes to bake your makeup uh, like you like to uh, contour your jawline and then use some sort of a powder this is a great product to go in for if you're looking for something that's a lot more affordable but does the job really well I love the fit me powder as well this is in the shade uh, 15 light this is the shade that I use on myself it's a great it's not a translucent powder it does have a little bit of color yellow color to it but this is a perfect shade for me I love using this and I feel if it is on discount it definitely is worth picking if you're looking for an affordable option here uh, the other two things that I want to recommend are two eyeshadow palettes again I saw these on discount the first one is the Huda Beauty Haze eyeshadow palette in the shade sand this is such a beautiful portable eyeshadow palette if you are someone who likes nude colors in specific in your eyeshadows you like browns you like earthy tones and some glitters this is a perfect combination extremely pigmented they sit really well and they blend out beautifully i don't have to say much about huda beauty eyeshadows because they are so popular and rightly so because most of the eyeshadow palettes that i've used i really enjoyed using them even the uh, retrograde pra uh, palette is one of my favorite palettes the other eyeshadow palette that i want to recommend to you is from the balm now this is something that i travel with quite a lot because it's a very very versatile eyeshadow palette you can create some smoky eye look with it some brown some uh, soft nude looks you can also create a green look right here uh, so it's a different sort of a concept you have uh, two eyeshadows uh, sort of in each line and each block it kind of uh, is also sort of indicating you which are the two colors that you can use together you can obviously mix and match and use the whole palette together as well something that i really enjoyed using moving on to the last few products in the makeup section then we're going to move on to skincare hair care and some body care products as well one bronzer if i had to recommend to you is the hula benefit bronzer this is one of the most beautiful in fact the most beautiful bronzer i've ever used it's really nice and portable i like the mini one because i can travel with it you guys know i like anything that i can travel with that i can just shove in my bag great beautiful soft bronzer this is the one i'm wearing actually this is the one i wear in most of my videos then the other product that i'm really uh, excited to see on nika is a new brand launch this is the suba beauty i've used their electric eyeliners and uh, this time around i'm actually too much into colored eyeliners that's like a new thing for me i'm going to try and insert a picture where i'm wearing one of their eyeliners which i picked up long ago from one of the ig pages and i love how beautiful it looks and how easy it is to use uh, so I have two of their eyeliners. The first one that I have here is Doodle. Uh, so you have two eyeliners in one. You have a white and a black, which is something that uh, I'm really looking forward to use. I haven't used these right now. And the other one is the Suba UV Brights. Now this is something I'm really, really looking forward to use. I'm so sure I'm going to enjoy using this, especially with my current obsession you do get a brush with it as well which is absolutely amazing and those are the amazing colors that you have here i think soba is on 20 percent off and i feel um if you are someone who likes neon eyeliners if you like to play around with eyeliners this is something i feel would really really work now i have used one of the eyeliners previously and i love the formula how easy it is to use that's why i wanted to recommend this to you my last few recommendations are eyeliners and mascaras and cold pencils. Uh, so the first eyeliner that I have for you here, which I want to recommend to you, it's beautiful, is the Nika Get Inked. This is such a beautiful pen liner. If you're a beginner looking for a good pen liner, this is the one to go for. The felt tip of this is also gorgeous. I know I'm due for doing a video on my favorite eyeliners and cold pencils, which will come very, very soon. But I thought, why not uh, give you recommendations, some of the recommendations in this video so that you can go ahead and pick them up uh, if you're looking for a good affordable cold pencil which you can pick up in some more discount I would love uh, for you to pick up the colossal from Maybelline it's a very very beautiful blendable sort of a cold pencil extremely affordable as well and uh, absolutely jet black if you like something that can blend out uh, on your lower lash line this is the one to definitely go in for uh, another eyeliner that I want to recommend, a recent launch, and this was actually sent to me in PR, but I absolutely enjoyed using this, is the Too Faced Killer Kajal. 
this is so gorgeous guys it's pigmented like nobody's business it's this one right here it is beautiful pigmented it's jet black it blends out beautifully you can use this on your lower lash line even as an eyeliner really enjoyed using this uh, my next favorite eyeliner is a blue one this is actually a coal pencil a colored coal pencil this is the color bar electra 04 it's a gorgeous gorgeous blue color and uh, i wanted to give you something which is other than uh, black and if you're looking for a good blue coal pencil which you can use as an eyeshadow as well which you can blend out really well which is very pigmented this is the one to go in for and lastly what i have here for you is a very good very affordable uh, brow pencil this is the one that i'm wearing this is the elf instant lift brow pencil it's a beautiful shade and uh, a good match for my brows i love wearing this if you're not someone who's too much into precision with your brows like me i just like to quickly fill it in and use the uh, spoolie on the other side to kind of brush my brows i do this in literally a minute so if you're looking for a good brow pencil this is the one that i can definitely recommend then moving on i have a hair tool that i want to highly recommend and i've been wanting to do this for a while now but i did not find a suitable video to do that but i wanted to do it in this video is a hair styling brush from philips this wasn't sent to me i bought this with my own money and i bought it around for i think 35 or 3600 but i saw that this one was on discount for about 2800 and i feel it's a complete steal this is how the brush looks like if you are someone who doesn't like to iron your hair you like a very uh, quick blow dry look but you like your hair to be settled and frizz free and uh, give some sort of a bounce to your hair this is in my opinion a dream come true i use this so much uh, so i basically use it whenever i go out and i have to get a blow dry i never get a blow dry i always go in with this it's really handy it comes with uh, very easy settings and uh, this basically uh, is not a lot of heat onto your hair of course this is heat styling but this is not giving your hair a lot of heat or a lot of damage so i have used this uh, many many times and i felt that this doesn't uh, damage my hair as much as ironing or blow drying has done in the past so uh, this is something that i wanted to share with you guys and totally enjoyed using this now moving on to some skincare hair care and body care products that i want to recommend to you first let's talk about the body care products that i want to talk about and first three products are the three shower gels that i've been using quite a lot of and they work really well for me the first one is the pierce pure and gentle body wash this uh, is something that i feel has a beautiful scent a beautiful fragrance uh, it leaves you feeling fresh it is not stripping on the skin it works very well on my sensitive skin on my body if you guys know i have spoken about this many a times in my videos that I can't use every body wash because uh, uh, the skin on my body is a tad bit sensitive and uh, I like to use uh, so I can only use soaps uh, which is Dove soap and Pierce soap but I love body washes and I wanted to experiment a little bit more uh, before shutting out that section completely so there are a few new products that I've been trying out and they work really well for me this is one of them I am going to talk about my updated body care routine very soon uh, the other body wash that I love is the Dove body wash again this works pretty much like the Dove soap and it leaves your skin feeling very smooth it's non-stripping and very very moisturized as well the last body wash that I have for you is actually a baby body wash uh, it's the Aveeno baby daily moisturizing bath I use this for my my baby girl and also for myself because it's really mild and uh, it's a very very lightly scented like the name suggests and it doesn't leave the skin feeling stripped in fact it leaves your skin feeling uh, very moisturized uh, then I have uh, a body lotion that I've been loving quite a lot of this is the Johnson's cotton touch newborn lotion it's really hydrating on the skin leaves your body very moisturized it's non greasy great for the monsoon season uh, love this I've almost finished half of this one last three products uh, for the body that I want to recommend something that I've used a lot of especially during COVID times because we uh, because we can't visit parlors is the wheat uh, ready to use full body waxing strips the one that I have here is for dry skin I've used for normal skin for sensitive skin as well all of these uh, in my opinion are almost the same uh, you can take your pick I think these are very very handy and uh, something that I like to keep in my stash all the time because you can just reach out to these and use these at home and the last two products that I've really enjoyed using received these in a PR package uh, are from Nykaa Wanderlust range this is the Nykaa Wanderlust 
California almond milk body butter and the next one is um, the body yogurt now the body yogurt has a very gel like consistency and uh, it looks more like a gel than a yogurt but it has a beautiful after feel uh, to the entire product uh, I'm gonna take some at the back of my hand if you see this is just a gel it spreads out really easily it really moisturizes the skin very well I really like this the body butter on the other hand definitely is a little bit more thicker but both of these I feel are great if you're looking for hydrating products if you're looking for something for the monsoon season you can go in with the body yogurt and the uh, other one which is the body butter you can use if you have very dry skin it's very very hydrating let me actually show you the texture of the body butter as well it's really really nice and thick and uh, really hydrating like I said both of these have very light uh, coffee scent or sort of a vanilla mix in it uh, so if you are someone who likes light coffee and vanilla scented products you can definitely go in with these moving on to some hair care products that I'd like to recommend to you and some of these are actually new tries so I've been trying a lot of hair care products as well and I'm going to be doing an updated video on the products that I liked uh, the first product that I want to talk about is this one right here it's the L'Oreal Expert Absolute Repair gold quinoa and protein hair mask and this is something i have really enjoyed using it leaves my hair super soft even the shampoo is a great one i don't have it here but there is a combo available on nika if you want to buy both of these great investment in my opinion then i've been trying out another conditioner so i'm coming back to conditioners slowly and gradually because my hair are now becoming extremely dry uh, so I tried this Requil Muru Muru Damage Repair Conditioner. It's a silicon free one. It repairs, nourishes and detangles for all hair type. This is a great product guys. Uh, when I bought this I actually saw the reviews on Nika and that's how I picked it up. I felt that this is really really nice and it's not very thick. Uh, it really manages your hair in, in the way that it softens your hair and it definitely detangles the hair. Great product in my opinion. I'm going to be talking about this in a lot more detail later on. And then something uh, that uh, came to me again in PR and I tried this because I liked uh, one of their apple cider vinegar uh, uh, shampoos as well is the Nika Naturals Armline Curry Leaf Shampoo and also the conditioner. So the conditioner at first I did not use but I thought why not let's give it a try. The shampoo I enjoyed using quite a lot. This is a sulfate free option so if you're looking for a sulfate free shampoo you can try this one. It has a very very soft fragrance and the conditioner I use thereafter because I like the shampoo. It's a very light conditioner like it's not very greasy. It doesn't weigh down your hair. So I don't like conditioners that actually weigh down your hair or you know make your hair feel sticky or heavy in any way. Uh, this one uh, I felt uh, did not do that and both of these products I really enjoyed using the last two products that I have for you here both of these are not new to my channel I have spoken about these in the past and I would like to highly recommend these uh, are the Sebamed anti dandruff shampoo if you are someone who suffer from dandruff this is a great great shampoo to use uh, this is the second bottle my husband has been trying this out and he really enjoys using this because he has a little bit of a flaky scalp and the last product which I have been using now because I've been having massive hair fall this I have reached out to time and again because this doesn't control hair fall but it definitely brings back the hair growth. What I'm talking about is the Indu Leka Bringa Oil. It's a very run of the mill product but somehow it really really works and I always pick this up on discount something that I've used bottles of and definitely highly recommend. Then moving on I'd like to talk about two sunscreens that I want to recommend for you. The first one is specially for the monsoon season and if you're oily skin you are likely to enjoy this. This is the Requil Ultra Matte Dry Touch Sunscreen Gel. I've spoken about this in a lot more detail in my sunscreens video which I'm going to link for you for you to watch and see the review of. It's a great product. It's uh, very good when it comes to the price and uh, the quantity that you get here and if you can get this on a discount I feel it's a great buy. Uh, if you're looking for an OMC free and oxybenzone free option the Requil has one and this is with SPF 50 as well again great sunscreen this is the one that works great for my combination skin if you're dry skin you are likely to enjoy this sunscreen quite a lot both of these options in my opinion if you get on a discount they are absolutely amazing then I want to recommend two eye creams that I've been trying out I will do a video on my favorite eye creams I've been trying out a lot of different ones but the two that have so far 
far uh, I've enjoyed using. The one that has stood out for me the most is the Claire's Fundamental Nourishing Eye Butter. I've almost run out of this and I'm definitely repurchasing this uh, from the Nykaa sale for sure. And the next thing that I enjoyed using, it did not do anything so far for my dark circles, but if you are someone who doesn't have very dry under eyes but you need a little bit of nourishment and you're looking for an affordable product, you can try the Momsco Natural Vita Rich Under Eye Cream. I wouldn't say this is the best option available out there, but definitely something that nourishes your under eye area and doesn't make you feel greasy. What I like about it the most is this tip that you get here. I put it in the refrigerator and this tip basically feels really really cooling it's a metal tip it really uh, relaxes my under eye area i really enjoy using this and you have to pump this in order to dispense uh, the product overall i feel this is a great nourishing non-greasy under eye cream and if you don't have very dry under eyes you can definitely try this uh, then moving on i want to recommend a monsoon moisturizer which can work for a lot of different skin types and i did recommend this in the last video as well but definitely worth mentioning again this is the sebamed clear face care gel this is for acne prone skin but definitely can work on a lot of different skin types especially in the monsoon season uh, two products from COSRX that are my holy grail right now. I love them. I've spoken about them in so many of my videos and I feel if they are on a discount, they are a must-have. The first one is the COSRX Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser. This is a great, great product in my opinion and something that I've spoken about a lot more in a lot more length and breadth in a video which I can link right here for you. And the second product is the BHA Blackhead Power Liquid from COSRX. A product that uh, was long lost in my skincare stash. I reached out for it again. I bought it again. And I felt that this is something that works really, really well on your blackheads in specific. Moving on to the last three products, Claire's Gentle Black Sugar Facial Polish is my current favorite physical exfoliator. If you are into physical exfoliation, uh, I think this is a product you will definitely enjoy using. It exfoliates and uh, it's fairly gentle. Like I said, like I always say, you have to know how to use a physical exfoliator in order to use it uh, correctly and not perch your skin. Then moving on, I have a lip butter here. This is from the brand Body Shop. It's uh, in the strawberry fragrance. It is beautiful and uh, i've used the entire tub like you can see it's very very nourishing on the lips very hydrating leaves your lips soft and supple it's a great affordable product in my mind and if you get it on a discount it's a great one at that uh, then i have here which uh, i definitely wanted to try and if you are looking for a good affordable micellar water you can definitely try this it's the simple micellar cleansing water it's a very gentle product with a simple gentle formulation and something that i can definitely recommend for you guys the last product is something i haven't reviewed on my channel yet i'm due for a review and i will be reviewing this very very soon on my channel but if you can take my word for it i'd say go ahead and pick this product up because this is also on some sort of a sale what i'm talking about is the plum vitamin c serum this is the 15 percent vitamin c it's a new launch but you will see a review very very soon with that it's a wrap guys i really hope that you enjoyed watching this video happy shopping and i really hope that you can pick up some good products out of the options and recommendations that i have for you here if you did like this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell and until i see you next guys thank you so much for watching love you all bye bye